Everyone's favorite plumber is back yet again, and for the first time, the power to create new Mario worlds is in the hands of the player. Super Mario Maker lets you design your own adventures and choose the look and feel of Mario's quest to save Princess Peach, or whatever it is you want to create. Players are given a blank canvas with many of the power-ups, enemies, and environments from the franchise, allowing anyone to create the Mario level of their wildest dreams. It doesn't matter if you're a series veteran, or you just enjoy the newer titles in the series, Super Mario Maker allows you to design your level to reflect the look of one of four Mario eras ranging from the 8-bit to the high-resolution 3D graphics used today. The 8- and 16-bit installments are brought back in higher definition, which gives them a more vibrant look compared to their original releases. Right from the beginning, players are given a crash course in level design, Mario style. Building platforms, placing enemies, and creating traps are explained clearly and are really simple to perform on the Wii U's gamepad. While the concept of a level editor in a video game is hardly new, the interface here is surprisingly intuitive. Uploading your level for anyone to play is also quick and painless, thanks to Mario Maker's dashboard-style system, which also allows players to switch seamlessly between making their levels and playing them. Beyond the wealth of pre-made Nintendo levels available offline, players are also given a near limitless amount of gameplay online. The most popular levels can be found in the course world. Here you can search for your favorite makers, follow them, and keep up to date with their latest creations. The 100 Mario Challenge gives players 100 lives to beat a series of randomly chosen player-created levels. The difficulty ranges from easy to expert, and trust me when I say you will need all 100 lives for the expert levels, as some of them can be downright brutal. If the going gets too tough though, there is an option to swap out more challenging levels for new ones. Upon completing a 100 Mario challenge, players are rewarded with unlockable character costumes from franchises like The Legend of Zelda, Kirby, and even the cult classic Earthbound. These characters are playable in 8-bit form, which puts another creative spin on the platformer. It's easy to imagine all of the Pokemon and Legend of Zelda themed levels that will emerge from this awesome feature. There are also unlockable character costumes for every current amiibo, which is a huge step forward for the figurine series. Until now, collectors have been pretty limited in what their figures were compatible with. Also, if you don't happen to have a particular amiibo for a character you want to use, you can still unlock all 100 costumes by playing the online challenges. A downside to this, however, is while a lot of the player-created content is clever and fun to play, there are always levels that don't quite hold up. I tried many levels that felt thrown together with little effort, or were flat-out unfair due to bad level design. This might sound like a deal-breaker to players looking to take the plunge into online levels, but not all of us are game designers, and that's kind of the point. Super Mario Maker does something very interesting by giving players a look behind the curtain of this immensely popular franchise. Seeing the inner workings makes you realize how challenging making a great or even a playable game can be. With so many established enemies and power-ups in the Mario universe, there is a huge assortment of building blocks at your fingertips. A fair amount of it is held back at first, likely to help ease new players into the game. Over a 10-day period, more of these elements do become available, and once you have a grasp of what everything is capable of, you can do some pretty crazy stuff, like combining elements to create something totally new. There's a lot going on for Super Mario Maker, but there are a few things that do hold it back. The lack of any form of checkpoints, for example, makes completing some of the more challenging levels that much harder, forcing players to power through on a single life alone. And admittedly, while we expected as much, it is a shame that Nintendo opted not to include multiplayer in any capacity, as that could have brought another exciting layer to the game. Finding friends online can also be challenging, and the game could definitely have benefited from some sort of friends list. Yes, it is possible to follow players once they have been found, but Nintendo has often had the issue of adding too many steps to achieve what should be a pretty painless task, particularly for online play. Super Mario Maker offers nearly limitless potential for creation, and enough content to keep any diehard Mario fan occupied for many hours. It's a fresh take on one of Nintendo's staples, with only a few minor hiccups. For all of this, I give Super Mario Maker an 8.5 out of 10. Thanks for checking out our review of Super Mario Maker for the Wii U. Now that you're here, why not stick around and watch some other videos? You go ahead and pick one, I'll wait.